It's very important, especially when developing new measures and uh, working with new theories, to perform a factor analysis and especially to test your convergent and discriminant validity and your reliability for each construct. Now, just a quick review. Um, reliability is the consistency of the indicators for a given construct. Um, let's show those indicators. So how consistent are these with each other? Um, the convergent validity is how well do they correlate? Are they highly correlated um, within the construct? And discriminant validity um, refers to are, are the items, the indicators here for satisfaction more related to each other than they are to the items of another factor <clears throat> like rejection. So we would expect them to load higher together here than they would load elsewhere. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to show you how to do this in PLS graph because it is very important. First thing we're going to do is uh, build our model. We've done that. I've done that here. Um, and now I'm going to just run it. Make sure once again you are on factor here instead of path. Hit OK. And run. Hit OK. So we're looking at loadings. These numbers uh, for, for the reflective measures, it's those numbers outside of the parentheses. For formative measures, like this one over here, ethical concerns, let's see, toggle indicators, let's remove this one, here we go. So I have a formative measure here, ethical concerns. For ethical concerns and other formative measures, the loadings are inside the parentheses. I'm not sure why, um, it's just kind of confusing. So try to keep that in mind, once again, for formative measures, the loadings are inside the parentheses. For reflective measures, whoops, the loadings are outside the parentheses. So we can do a quick eyeball of uh, convergent validity, right? 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, that's great. It should be above 0.7. Um, let's toggle those back in. Let's look, out, look at burnout. Ooh, 0.4, that's not very good. 88884. Eight, eight, <clears throat> These ones have issues. We'll go ahead and look at those in more depth. One thing you can do instead of trying to mess with this mess, um, just hide them all again and go look at your dot list output and scroll down to this outer model. There are a few things we want to look at here. First, for convergent validity, we want to look at the loadings. For rejection, the loadings are nice and high. 0.8, 0.8, 0.8. For burnout, looks like they're mostly high until we get here. We want these loadings to be above 0.7. We can also take a look over here at the communal or communalities column. We want these communalities to be above 0.5. That's these are these are really low. We're going to go ahead and drop these, and I would drop um, the one with the lowest communality first, uh, regardless of the loading or the weight. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, what was it? Uh oh. Toggle indicators. I believe it was this one. Nope. Where am I? It was not for ethical concerns. That's my problem. It was for burnout. All right. It was BM4. Delete. And always run again after you delete something because it does change things. Looks like this is still very low. 0.35 actually went down. So I'm going to delete that one as well and run it. Hit OK. These look great now. All right, that's a much stronger construct. Let's go look at the list just to make sure we got everything. Communalities, good, good, mostly good. Um, this one here, EC2, it's kind of low. It's approaching that, that floor of 0.5. I go look at the loadings. It's just above 0.7, so we could probably keep it in. Um, we'll see later that this does affect your AVE, your average, vari your average variance extracted, um, which is a measure of your convergent validity. So, um, but since this is a formative measure, um, we're not too concerned with the convergent validity. So we can go ahead and leave that in. All right, the others are fine. So toggle that back in. Now, in order to get the construct or, or the composite reliability and the AVE, we need to run a bootstrap. So we're running that right now. 
hit OK. Make sure you view the dot out and view the output. Scroll down just a little bit. Here we are in the outer model loadings. We can see for, re for rejection, we have a composite reliability of 0.9. That's awesome. 0.9 for burnout, 0.9 for ethical concerns, and 0.9 for satisfaction. We have great reliability. Now let's look over here at AVEs. It should be above 0.5 for these uh, reflective constructs. Looks like it is. Here's the formative one. Um, it's a little bit lower, but that's to be expected. Looking good. All right. Now the way you would organize this is in a little table, something like this. Um, with the construct in a matrix here, on the in, in a column and in a row, and then you'd have their correlations right here. I'll show you where to get those. Those correlations are not in the dot out, they're in the dot list. So view, dot list. It's right here at the very top. So rejection on burnout, 0.239 and you can copy and paste each of these or if you have a really big table just select the table copy it and in Excel paste it with the wizard using the text import wizard delimit it by space and that'll work just fine anyway so you fill those in and then on the diagonal here you want the square root of the AVE and I'll show you what it looks like once we're done filling it out here it is you want the square root of the AVE to be greater than the absolute value of any of the inter-construct correlations. So uh, basically we're saying this number on the diagonal needs to be greater than anything below it or to the left of it. So taking this one into account, ethics, 0.839 is greater than either of those and this one down here. So it has good discriminant validity. Um, as for uh, formative constructs, uh, different schools of thought on this some people just leave this blank here because oops just leave this blank uh, because it's a formative construct and all of this AVE and CR rely somewhat on the or highly on the correlations of the indicators and you wouldn't expect the uh, indicators for a formative construct to be highly correlated no well, not, not necessarily that's not a requirement um, but there are other people who say leave it in. So you do what you want and then do what the reviewers want you to do. But if you build a table like this, you're, you're in pretty good shape. And then make sure you show uh, the loadings as, as listed here, these loadings. And then you'll be good to go for convergent validity, discriminant validity, and reliability.